Uh, hello everybody, I'm back again with another video on level 2 mathematics. Today we are going to deal with exponential law. Okay, before we can do any law, ne, let us start by understanding ne, what do we mean by exponent? What do we have actually? Ne? Let us take as example, we have 3 a n. Ne? Any number without exponent, these three, we call it the core Efficient, right? We say this a with an exponent. This a with an exponent, we call it a base. In other words, this means any number with an exponent, it is called a base. Now, on top there, we have exponent. So, before we deal with any law, we need to understand those things. Né? We need to know the difference between a coefficient, base, and exponent. Okay, now let us try to look at uh, our first law, which says that if we multiply power with the same base, we add the exponent. And how do we apply that law? Because there are eight. If you just know those eight exponential law, this means you are going to get total, right? So it says law number one. If we multiply power with the same base, this means my a at the same base. This means I'm going to add the exponent, which is n and m. Always, whenever you see the same base, you are going to add the exponent. This means if I have 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 2, right? Those two are the same base, right? There's no need for me to write too many numbers. Just I take only one, one base, which is 2. Basically, I'm going to add 2 plus 2, which will give me... 2 to the power 4. Let's say I know that 2 to the power 4, remember that 2 to the power 4, I don't take 2 and multiply by 4. It means that it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. There must be 4 of them, right? So this means I know that 2 times 2, it will be 4 times 2, which is 8 times 2, which will be 60. That's how I apply the first law. Number two, it opposes that one. Because opposite, opposite of multiplication is division. Opposite of addition is subtraction. This means law number two, it says that if we divide power with the same base, we are going to subtract the exponent. You see? Let us say, now I have two to the power three divide by 2 to the power 2. This means because they are same base, I only write only one base. Let's say I'm going to subtract the exponent, which will be 2 to the exponent of 1. But I'm not allowed to write an exponent of 1 because it's always there, it is invisible. Okay, let us go to exponential law number 3, which says that any number outside the bracket multiply a anything inside the bracket. Now, remember, brackets mean multiplication. This means exponent multiplied with exponent. If I have a, b, m, exponent of n, exponent is going to multiply exponent. But also this a is going to be affected. Reason being, because it too has its own exponent of 1. This means, in other words, it will be a to the power 1 multiplied by that n. Also, b to the power m multiplied by n. This means it will be 1 multiplied by n. Any number multiplied by 1 is that number. b to the power m n. That will be my answer. a to the power n, b to the power m n. Right? Always. Anything outside the bracket. Multiply everything inside the bracket. Always. Ne? Okay? Let us take another example. You can also use a calculator to just to check your answer, ne? to prove your answer. This means, let us say, I do have uh, 3 
3 a to the power 4 let's say I put 2 in right this means that exponent of 2 is going to affect everything inside the bracket right this means it will be 3 what is that exponent of 3 it is 1 multiplied by 2 a to the power 4 multiplied by 2 this means 3 1 multiplied by 2 it will be 2 a to the power 8 so we know that this 3 to the power 2 means that I, I must multiply that 3 2 times this means 3 3 times 3 I know it's how much 9 this means I will have 9a to the power 8 you see Okay, let us continue. Let us go to exponential law number four. Ne? Number four a explains same thing, just like a exponential law number three. Ne? Just number four, the difference is just it has a division. A to the power n divided by b. They say it does not matter if uh, it is dividing. As long as there is a bracket, we know that in a, in a mathematics, bracket means multiplication. This means it will be a to the power n m because I'm going to multiply this one with that one. Basically, it will be b to the power m, right? Let us continue. Let us go to exponential law number five, ne? Because that one do the same, just repeat itself, just like number three, ne? Okay, there is this exponential law that says any number to the power zero, it will be one. You can try it on a calculator. Just press any number one one three. As long as its exponent it is zero, your answer will always be one. Does not matter how big that number is or how small that number is. As long as its exponent is zero, it will be one. Okay, let us continue. Let us go to exponential law number five, law number six. Law number six it says, how do we change a negative exponent, a negative exponent? They like the, that law, ne? guys. Be careful in that law. They say always leave your answer with positive exponent. So if you, if you leave your answer with a negative exponent, we'll get zero, right? So this means law number six. It will be any number to the exponent of negative. How do we change that negative? It's easy, guys, in mathematics. You see, this means that negative. This negative, always, whenever you see a negative exponent, you will start by writing one over. That a negative exponent means that there, there will be a fraction, right? This means that negative, it will be one over, always, does not matter which number is it, how big, how small the number it is. This means, uh, after writing that one over, this means you left with A, you write it as a base, because it's a base. But then your exponent will be n. You write it as a denominator. This means my answer will be 1 over a to the power n. Okay, let us take a number. Let us write it on a number. Let us say we have 2 to the power negative 1. So, whenever you press 2 to the power negative 1, it will give you 1 over 2. Where does that 1 over 2 come from? Remember, when you have a negative exponent, they say leave your answer with a positive exponent. That negative Exponent it is 1 over. Let's say you will left with your base as a 2. Your exponent will be 1. But remember, you are not allowed to write an exponent of 1. Okay, let us look at exponential law number 7. Exp exponential law number 7 says that square root of a to the power m. Right? Right? How do I change that one? This means always know that square root... It is equal to exponent of 1 over 2, not a base, exponent of 1 over 2. Square root square, square is a 2. This means there is 2 here, ne? before this root. There is a 2. This is that 2 that we are talking about. Ne? Square root, we are talking about that 2. Ne? It is 1 over 2 always, right? That one, it will be uh, a to the power m multiplied by, because there is square root, I know that square root equals to 1 over 2. It will be a to the power m multiplied by 1 over 2 m over 2 that will be my final answer a to the power m divided by 2 as my exponent 
Okay, let us try that one with a number, right? Okay, let us say I have a square root of 2 to the power 4. How do I change that one? How do I simplify that one without the use of calculator? This means I'm going to apply the exponential law number 7. This means I'm going to say 2 to the power 4. I know that my square root, it will be 1 over 2. This means it will give me 2 to the power uh, 2, right? I know that 2 to the power 2 means that my 2 must multiply itself 2 times. This means 2 times 2, I know it will be 4. That will be my final answer. Okay? Now, let us try to go and look at exponential law number 8. Our last exponential law of the day. Right? Our last exponential law of the day. So, exponential law number 8, it says that what if we are not given a square root? Right? What if we are given an m root? No, there is no square root. m root. m means any number. Like any number, just any number. m root. We say here inside that root, there is an n. Right? What do we do with that one? This means no, we are given a number. Like, this means we know that any number here before that root. Because I told you that there is an invisible 2 in that square root. No, there's m. This means that one it will equal to exponent of 1 over m. We just divide by that number. Always. Now, this means that one, it will be a to the power n multiplied by 1 over m. It will give me a to the power n over m. It will be a to the power n over m. Is it? Okay, let us try that one with a number again, right? Let us try that one with a number again. Let us use the same example that we do we, we used in number seven. Let us say we have no, there's no square root, there's a fourth root. Remember, we count them according to the number, third, fourth root, up until infinity. Ne? We have fourth root, inside that root it will be two to the power four, right? So I will write my answer. They say simplify without the use of calculator. Leave your answer with a positive exponent. This means I will have 2 to the power 4. I know that fourth root it will be equal to 1 over 4. This means I'm going to multiply them. 4 multiplied by 1 over 4, it gives me 1. But remember, according to mathematics, I'm not allowed to write exponent of 1. I know it is always there, but invisible.